How you doing? I'm Darren with Ash Kick and Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we're talking about meal prepping. So this is the stuff you usually don't get to see. It's a little bit different of a format of video we're gonna have today. I'm gonna show you how I prep my meals for the week, uh, specifically my proteins. You guys probably don't care about the sides. It's just rice and a vegetable. But I do this every single Sunday. That way I don't have to think about what I'm having for lunch during the week. And this is a unique video because today we're gonna be meal prepping on the all new A Smoke Essential. But I figured what a better way to test out this cooker and give you kind of a walk around and review and my opinions on it other than meal prep because this is a real life situation as to what I'd be using the cooker for. It's compact, it's portable, it's battery operated so I can literally put it on my deck if I wanted to and prep my meals on there. I have a family pack of chicken breasts here. That's typically my go-to. Usually have chicken for lunches. And yeah, we're gonna season it up. We're gonna start it off low and slow, get some nice smoke on it, and then we'll ramp it up and finish it off. That way we can kind of see how it performs low and slow and hot and fast, give you the best of both worlds. I'm gonna talk about it, give you all the insight and information I have on this cooker. And just for complete transparency, this is a sponsored video from A Smoke. They did provide the cooker to me. That being said, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. You guys work hard for your money, as do I, and I don't want you spending money on something that I don't believe in, nor would I promote something like that on this channel. So I'm gonna give you all, all the information that you need for you to make an informed decision. You can check out the links below, check it out, and yeah, we'll see how, how the chicken turns out. So let's bring in and get this chicken prepped up for the A Smoke Essential. All right, so here is my family pack of chicken. And like I said, this is typically what I'm doing every single week is a family pack of chicken. I find out that it's enough for four days worth of lunches and maybe a dinner in there. So you guys are kind of getting a behind the scenes of how I get ready for the week because I do work full time as well. I work four 10 hour days during the week and YouTube is kind of my side gig, which I enjoy very much and have had a lot of success thanks to all of you guys watching my videos, sharing them, liking on them. And so I'm just gonna take off a little bit of this fat, get everything trimmed up nice, nice here. These are some nice chicken breasts. There's really not much trimming that needs to be done on them. All right, so we have all the chicken breasts here. I like to season the bottom first. That way the top side still looks pretty. I know it's just me eating it, but I don't know. I like having good looking food. So the rub we're gonna be using today is the Suckle Busters Clucker Dust. This is a great chicken rub. I really enjoy it. Now, depending on what I'm having for lunches during the week and the flavor profiles I want will determine how I season this. Usually it's Tailgater's Barbecue Party Rub and my ash Kick and barbecue honey chipotle but i felt like changing it up a little bit this week so we're going with the clucker dust because i think it's a fantastic rub and i believe it might be their number one seller i know spg was but i think clucker dust has taken it over so anyways just a light coating on here and i like to have like a semi-neutral flavor profile like if i wanted to do some pasta i would just use salt and pepper but because i'm having this with broccoli and veggies i don't mind having a little bit more flavor on my chicken here so there we go i'm gonna flip it over and repeat the process on the top side all right so I have my chicken seasoned and we are ready to get it on the A smoke. Before we get this on, I'm gonna bring you outside. I'm gonna give you a rundown, everything you need to know about the A smoke essential. I'm gonna show you how it functions, give you all the specs on it, and then we'll cook this chicken and see how it turns out. So let's get outside and check out this A smoke essential. All right guys, so here is the A smoke essential in all of its glory. And you can see right here, this is the battery that powers it. This will run, they say, up to 10 hours. I can tell you during the burn off, I had it running for two hours. If you guys would like me to test it and see how long it'll run on one charge, let me know. I can come back and leave a pinned comment in the description and let you guys know. Uh, over here, we have a rack for seasonings or you know, this would hold a cold, refreshing beverage and that just slides in a little rail system right here. 
Over here we have the grease catch on the side and they have nice little liners for that, which is really nice. Although you may have to empty it a few times for a longer cook, such as a pork butt or something. But for what we're doing it today, this is gonna be perfect. This is a four pound hopper that does disconnect from the unit. I'm not going to remove it because I'm gonna have pellets fall out otherwise, but there is a little stopper in there. So you can break this down, put it inside and put it in your car. And I mean, this thing is extremely light here. You can see lifting it up with ease. It is about half the weight of my Traeger Ranger. I believe it's 33 point something pounds. I will give you the full details on it right here. I can tell you this has 271 square inches of cooking space, which is a ton. And what I really like is that the hopper is on the outside of the cooker, which gives you so much more great room. You could easily fit a rack of ribs on here. And yeah, I mean, you get this top rack right here, which I don't really use a ton, but it's nice to have the option. And then down here, you have the sear plate for direct searing, so you could get a nice crust on steaks if you'd like. Again, a lot of the cookers don't have that, but you can see it's a little patina, but still very, very new looking because I haven't cooked on it yet. You guys are gonna be the first to witness that. And like I said, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. If this thing works well, you're gonna know. If it doesn't work well, you're gonna know. So because we're cooking a family pack of chicken, I'm taking this rack out today. I'm just gonna set it over here. We don't need it. I just wanted to show you guys what that was all about. We have a nice interactive screen up here. You got all your knobs, you got your touch screen. You got a spot for a thermometer. If you want, you can run some probes on there. They do send one. I'm not going to use it just because I'm going to be out here monitoring it today. But once the app is ready to go, which for me it isn't, iOS is not ready yet. It is available for Android. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to test out the app and let you know how it works. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video if you're interested, but check out my Instagram because I will be doing some reels on that when it is ready to go. I'll also throw up some pictures here so you can check out and see what the app looks like. But this is a very nice, easy to use interface right here. I really enjoy it. All right, so to just give you a little bit of information here, the size on this is 19.68 inches by 14.17 inches by 18. 11 inches which is the width height and dimension on here so the weight is 33.06 pounds and then like i said it's 271 square inches of cooking space the temperature range is 180 degrees to 500 degrees in comparison the pit boss portable pellet grill is 180 to 500 and the traeger ranger is 165 to 450. you can control this through the app which you can't do with the other two aforementioned grills and then this is battery supported the traeger ranger is not the pit boss portable battery powered grill is but like i said here's the battery and if you wanted to run this plugged in you just plug it in the charger you can run for unlimited amounts of time and let it go but the big thing for this for me would be camping hunting trips i like to ice fish i like to fish i like to hunt we're always cooking in the woods so for me that was kind of a selling point on this is i can take it with me very light, very portable, it packs up nicely. And yeah, I got a lot more great space to cook for a crowd when we're out in the field. So that's something I really, really enjoy. So another thing that A-Smoke is boasting is temperature control within five degrees plus minus. And during the burn off, I will say it did overshoot a little bit, but then it dropped back down. Uh, the settings on this are a little weird. So it was set at 302 degrees. Like I said, this will change once they're rolled out to you. So don't pay too close of attention of your temperature options. But I had it set at 302 and it's at about 300 to 303. So we're right in that plus minus five degrees. And after that initial overshoot dropped down and hummed like that for about an hour and a half, which is just, awesome not having the pellet hopper over here huge amount of real estate available now which is just awesome i mean you could fit a frying pan on here put it right over the burner and just even cook eggs on it whatever you wanted to do now, i'm not sure if they have a cast iron drop in if they don't that'd be awesome because then you could also use this as a griddle which would be fantastic I'll show you on the touch screen here the recipe options. We're not going to be using those to cook today because, again, they have to be updated. Since I've had this cooker, I've updated it with the new software twice, and it's gotten better each time, so I am confident when they roll out to the final one, it's going to be rock solid for you. So now breaking it down, I just want to show you guys underneath here. This is the ashtray, and you can see this is what we have from during the burn off. And then this is a water pan. You can add water, beer, wine, whatever you want to help steam and infuse that flavor. And actually with this on there, they're claiming a three times quicker cooking experience. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. I'd have to do a long cook for that, but you know what? If it's 
gonna help keep stuff nice and juicy. I'm all for it. Maybe we'll put some water in here and we do the chicken today and see how it turns out. So we will, we'll do that. We'll put some water in here, see how it turns out. But I just wanted to show you this goes underneath and slides right in. And because it has that hidden ash, you don't have to sit and vacuum it out. You can just take it, dump it, go right back to cooking, which is a really nice feature. Now this cooker does have the ASCA technology, which is the automatic steam culinary application. So I will say the other A smoke that I reviewed had that feature as well, and it was really nice. And also it's 20% more efficient with the pellet usage. So, hey, I'm all about saving some money on the pellets because things are outrageously priced these days, no matter what you're buying. So I'm a big, big fan of everything about this. So even here, they thought of a nice felt gasket here to help keep in that smoke. So like I said, I'll have everything down below. You can go and check it out for yourself. Check out the price, check out everything and make an informed decision. I'm just here to show you and talk about it and share my experience with this cooker so far and give you guys an option if you're looking for something like this. But again, do the research yourself. Don't just take people on YouTube's word for it. Check it out for yourself and say, hey, is this gonna be a good buy for me? Because you're spending money on something, you want it to last. That being said, I would be interested in buying this model just based off the burn-in. We'll see how the food tastes and that'll be my final decision on that. So all we're gonna do to get this ready to cook is take our battery and put it in. And this thing is going to fire up. I'll bring you in so you can check out the menus with me. All right, so here is the A Smoke app. We'll check this out right here. We're just gonna touch anywhere to access the menu. So now here's your options. You can roast, barbecue, smoke and sear, and everything like that. Today, we are just going to rotate this, and I think we'll set it to, we'll go down to 230 here again these temperatures may be different on your model when they roll out they're constantly updating this making sure that it is good to go for consumers before rolling it out so you probably will have the 200 225 210 i'm hoping it's in five degree increments i think that's the best option so if you have 205 210 215 220 225 etc so that is looking good to go we're going to select that and now it is firing up. We're sitting at 93 degrees in here because again, I just did the burn off not too long ago. This thing hasn't completely cooled. So we're gonna let this get up to temperature, 230 degrees. We'll get our chicken on for 30 minutes. Let it get some good smoke on there. We'll bump it up and kind of sear it off. So I'm gonna let this get up to temp. When it's ready to go, I'll bring you back and we will get the chicken on the smoker. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so this thing is fired up, sitting at about 226 degrees. It's set at 230. What I'm gonna do, so I'm just going to get some water in this tray right here. This is warm water. We could put in cold water in there while it's already up to temp. All right, so we have our water in there. We're all set to go. You can see we got some good smoke on here. And one thing I wanted to show you guys is this is the Kickstarter campaign for this. And they have all sorts of cool things on here for you to check out, all sorts of information. So they are saying on here that this is a five pound hopper. I thought it was a four pound, but I'm trusting the Kickstarter information. And there's an option, it looks like, once they hit a million dollars on Kickstarter, they're going to offer an eight pound hopper as well which is just huge but all of this stuff on here it has app demos everything on there so much information for you to check out and more importantly you can see here uh, 2,295 backers as of five days ago have raised $970,251. So that is amazing. There's a lot of people that believe in this product and I think it's gonna be wonderful. So now let's get the chicken on. All right, so like I said, sitting at 228 degrees now, it's bouncing around a little bit, but that is okay. We have our chicken here and I did just have this hanging out in the refrigerator until this thing got up to temp. And we're just gonna get this chicken on. And this is a family pack of chicken here and we, we have plenty of room. So there we go. Now the fire pot's over here, so I'm curious to see if the temperature on these ones will be higher than the temperatures on those ones. We're gonna rotate these, but for now, I'm just gonna give them 30 minutes in the smoke, get some nice smoke flavor on there, and we'll come back and check them in 30 minutes. So we'll see you then. All right, so you can see 2.30, 2.30, looking really good. It's been 30 minutes in the smoke. You can see that chicken is looking awesome. I'm gonna get this closed down. 
and let's just get this fired up right here. So we're gonna take and bump this up. 356, we'll let it crank up. Come back out in about 10 minutes and check on this chicken, see how it's looking. It's not gonna be done yet, but I'm just gonna let this thing go. And for reference, this is after the burning at 300 degrees for about an hour and a half, two hours, and then 30 minutes at 230 degrees. Plenty of pellets left. I'll give you a little 360 of this thing here. Check out the chickens in there. There we go. So that's looking good. I'm gonna let this thing go. I'll come back out and check it in 15 minutes. I'm gonna check the chicken in 15 minutes, see how it's looking. So we'll see you then. But we are rapidly climbing, which is awesome. So see you guys in a bit. All right, so it has been about 15 minutes. We have it set at 356. It is at 356. So awesome, got up to temp. This is looking real good. I do not think these are done, but we're just gonna temp one, see how it's looking. 127 degrees here so these are definitely not ready but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna move these and just switch sides just for even cooking Ooh, that heat deflector is hot the juices are running down and they just bubble away to nothing let's check the temperature on this one so 131 there so these are all pretty same across the board so nice consistency I'm all about that see looking really good so far so I think what we'll do is we'll just move those in we'll let them go for probably another 15 20 minutes and I'll bring you back and we'll check on these again but so far so good I mean this thing is holding temperature everything's looking fantastic all right so it has been about another 10 minutes I just checked these we're sitting at about 150 degrees so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna bump this up and I have that set at 500 degrees and I'm just gonna sear these off. I'm not gonna open up the sear plate right now, but I am gonna, I just wanna see what this thing does as far as getting up to 500 degrees and getting these chicken's juices flowing here. And again, I'm just gonna check, you know, we've maybe used a quarter of the pellets in this time. We're probably gonna use, you know, more than the average bear would use here, but I'm gonna let this thing crank up and just come and flip it until they're done. I'll bring you back and show you the final product when it's done and let you know how long it was. All right, guys, so it was just about five minutes and then I came in and I flipped them back over. See, we got some nice color on here, no charring, but that's not to be expected with the flame sear plate closed. Not what I'm really going for anyways on here. We're sitting at 161 degrees. I already took one off, it was done. I'm gonna get the rest of these off, bring them inside, let them rest for probably 10, 15 minutes. We'll slice into them, see how they turned out. So yeah, so I'm gonna get these in the house, let them rest. We'll jump into a taste test and I'll give you my final thoughts on the cooker because it's worked flawlessly at all temperature set points, but the real decision in this is how does the food turn out? How does it taste? So I'll let you know right now. All right, so here is our chicken from the A Smoke and I have to say it looks really good. It smells very, very smoky. So I think we're gonna give it a try now. I just wanna cut down here. You can see there's a ton of moisture on the board from letting it rest and that is some juicy chicken right there. You can see it on the knife, it looks really good. Let's get a piece sliced off here. Yeah, that is nice and moist chicken. Pulled at 160, I mean, look at that dripping. That is some wonderful, juicy chicken right there. Check that out. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it looks great. And like I said, the smoke smell on there is just amazing. It smells really, really good. Again, just another piece here. And I don't typically like to squeeze meat, but to show off the juiciness, it's like a waterfall there. That looks amazing. Let's jump out and do the taste test. And I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this cooker because if for some reason this doesn't taste good, well, then it's not gonna be a good cooker. But if this is good, 
I'll probably recommend it. So let's jump out and do the taste test right now. All right, guys, so it is time to do the taste test. Before we jump into it, I just want to reiterate, like I said before, down below, I will have a link to the Kickstarter and everything else that you need to check out the price, all the features in case I missed any, hopefully I didn't. Hopefully now by watching this, you have a better understanding of the cooker. Like I said, with the price and everything, if Ace Milk offers me a discount to pass along to you guys, I'll have that down below in a pinned comment and the description as well. If you guys wanna see a long smoke on this, I have a pork butt. I was thinking about doing a pork butt for this video, but if you want to see a long smoke on it, comment down below, let me know. I'll cover how long the battery lasts, how long the pellets last. Probably do it at like 250 degrees. If you wanna see that, let me know down below in the comments. A Smoke does read the comments, so maybe they'll sponsor another video and we can do that. I just wanna provide you guys with the things you wanna see. And what I wanna see is this chicken in my mouth, so let's do this. All right guys, so I know chicken really isn't that exciting, but for me, it's a necessity. This is for meal preps all through the week, and I have to say, it's some phenomenal chicken. It has a wonderful smoke flavor to it. The clucker dust is just spot on for what I want on chicken, a nice chickeny flavor to it. Something that'll go along with a variety of menu options should I want more than just rice, chicken, and broccoli this week. If I wanna use it in a pasta, this seasoning will not overpower it. Like I said, great cook, very tender. This is very tender chicken, just pulls apart. So yeah, I would say that the A Smoke Essential did its job. It performed flawlessly. It got up to all the different temperatures in a short amount of time. There was no overshooting or dropping down. It stayed within that plus minus five degrees. It's a great option to add to your arsenal if you're looking for something a little more convenient to cook while you're out in the great outdoors or if you're tailgating. For me, I might bring that with so I can watch my Vikings lose this year. I mean, who knows? If you have any questions about it that I didn't answer on here, drop a comment. If I don't know it, I will find out the answer. I will reach out to my contacts at A-Smoke and get you the answer as soon as possible. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.